Welcome to the explanation of the basic usage of Yeah, you, know, you got here on this side a uh, panel which your buttons will not change very much. You can switch, uh, turn off the emergency uh, button. You can turn on the machine. And after turning on the machine, you see all the buttons uh, which you can use now get inactive. So you can home your machine. Uh, you can uh, jog around on your machine without being homed, but this is only in manual mode and you can also home your machine, this is the button here down you can home each axis one after another so let's home Z and then home Y and let's home X so after get after all uh, axes are homed they're getting green so you can see very fast is that they are homed you get uh, here all the preview if you want to see a preview in large you can make it here and get it very large or get it back you have here all the information about jogging, so I can jog around with using the buttons. I can uh, change the jog velocity, so I can jog uh, quite faster. And I can also jog incremental. I just have to give uh, this, so every click will only move one millimeter. Um, these uh, are taken from the um, uh, from the any file, so. <coughs> um, it may differ according to your uh, settings. Uh, down here you have uh, the page for touch off. As you see, you get an offset page with Git. Uh, you can give all the um, offset systems. You can give them a name, a human readable name. So this is my main voice. This is my uh, left side, and so on. And I can uh, just say, okay, I want to take to my turntable, and I can send set selected. So I can see here is G57 again, uh, and here is selected also. You will see also that uh, in the uh, information window, this has also changed here down. Um, okay, let's go back to 47. So, and you can uh, edit uh, all the offsets. So, if you want to edit here uh, main wise left, and you don't want to have to have it, you can just clear it and give it another name. You can see here is a keyboard. So I can use it as a normal keyboard uh, on a touch screen. And let's say that this is the middle. And just giving enter. So the name has changed, but not the uh, system. Okay, after uh, every axis is homed and uh, we have set uh, the, uh, the origin of our workpiece, let's say we want to say x to 0 y to minus 5, you can see the difference between the buttons, this is just setting to 0 and this uh, you will get a small calculator uh, to get the value. On set we put to 50. You see um, Pi will, remem will remember the last uh, value entered. Okay. After this uh, you can go on to run a program if you like. Uh, if you want to run a program just push this button here you can load a program. Let's load the program. This one, for example, uh, you have the uh, preview. You can turn around preview. You can move it, uh, and you can switch also back to the different side. You can zoom in. You can zoom out. You can hide or show the dimensions, uh, and you can also clear the plot or show the tool path. Okay, just uh, let's run the program. You will see. It's a run. Okay. A special thing is whatever uh, people ask me to introduce is, is that uh, when a program is paused, paused uh, I can switch on cooling and uh, switch it off so I can clean. I can even turn off the spindle without getting any error. I can uh, turn off the spindle again on, switch the cooling on, and just say, okay, go on with my uh, work. So it's very easy to clean in between. You will see the tool, tool change has been done. And I got here the information that there is an optional stop, which I have uh, not taken uh, care of to clean the workpiece or again. So all the information is shown down here. OK, that's the program menu. You can see all the information have, has been updated uh, very fast. Okay, uh, you can also edit a program. So I can uh, 
go here, drill down here, I have been here to the edit mode. I can switch on and off the keyboard again if I like, so I can get go back also. Uh, very new is just the possibility to, to search if you're searching for coolant, for example. I just give cool and say search forward, so you can see he finds the tool, the coolant, uh, and search back. You can also say, okay, this I want to make M7 and uh, say enter. So um, if I want to undo it, I can undo and I can redo also. So it's very easy and very comfortable to edit uh, programs here in here. Uh, you can save the program just like it is, or you can save it as a new file name, or you can just say save it and run the program directly. You can also open a new one or just make a new one. So clearing all this, and uh, I can make a new program uh, here in here. Okay, let's just to go back. I haven't saved saved anything, so this will be the original program. Going back to manual mode, you can also see here we go to the tool table. On the tool table, you have different uh, possibilities. Uh, you can just add it, add a tool. So it's this one, this button. Unfortunately, I'm in Germany, so it's introduced automatically. If I say add, I got here a new tool, and and I can uh, add it here uh, to 25. It's on my place 25, so you can just give a, a set. This is minus 11, and we can give it a, a, a diameter. It's one millimeter. Or recommend it's a test tool. So, and it's done. Um, you can also you can also change in between here directly tools just clicking this tool. There are different uh, possibilities to change tools. It's just uh, the one really moving the machine, this button. So the machine moves and say, okay, change the tool and goes back because uh, after changing a tool you sure want to do another thing than working on a tool table. You can also say, okay, uh, I switched just with M61 Q4 for example in this case and the tool has changed to tool number 4. That's uh, very useful when uh, in the morning you start your machine and you have still a tool in the spindle. And if you have very very much tools you can also say okay I want to give the number so I can say here 25 and just I get here an error because uh, 25 is not in the tool table. It's only 24. So it's 24. Okay. And he will change it. So this is a tool table. Um, the MDI mode, you can see also, yes, you, are, you have also the possibility to switch off the keyboard or switch it on. On MDI mode is uh, just the MDI history, so you can uh, select all the information you got already. You may know this from other GUIs. So I can just say G0 uh, X0, so he will run to zero like uh, everyone. On the keyboard you may note uh, that the keyboard has here uh, additional colors. You can uh, change to um, the, a numpad. You can also here you can include uh, code strips so this uh, like like um, macros and so on. And here you got also uh, the F keys if you like. I don't recommend uh, this button, just this one. Okay. On MDI mode, you got also the possibility uh, to add macros. Here I added macros. So if I want to go to a position, I just push this button. Here ask me which position I want to go to X to 10. I want to oops, Y to 10 and set I want to go to minus 1. So I push a button and the machine will move exactly to this uh, position. Uh, the macros can uh, make whole program programs, if I change joke around, he will uh, just make all the movements which uh, is programmed on this uh, macro. Um, to see how to include these macros, please uh, read the wiki page. Uh, it's the most easy uh, thing to see how it, is, how it works. Okay, thanks, hope you can help you a little bit and show you the features of GMOKAPI and how you, uh, hope you will join GMOKAPI a long time. Thanks.